Hi guys, welcome back to another video with Dom. So today we're going to be covering ICAW ACA certificate level exam principles of taxation. I sat this a while ago back when they were still doing the books. As you can see, what this actually reveals is the book is pretty short. It's certainly shorter than the accounting book, which was about twice the size and it's shorter than the business technology and finance book. This book, however, is stuffed full of content. And if you're going to be sitting the BPT exam, and bear in mind that I will cover this in a separate video, but the choice exam, the one exam with ICAW, which you get to choose what you sit. So assuming that you're going to be taking BPT, then I would recommend that you take this very seriously. Principles of taxation will stand you in very good stead for the professional level exams where there will be two taxation exams if you choose BPT over business planning banking or business planning insurance. If you take business planning taxation which is almost giving advice as a tax advisor then you need to know this very well. How do you combat this exam? Well first of all you need to learn the content really well. Understanding the tax rules which will be the UK tax rules for the year that you sit them as well take away six months so it'll probably be last year's tax rules for you in the uk it may be quite jaunting i sat this in the isle of man where the tax rules are completely different to the uk's so i had to learn all the uk's tax rules which is very different to how they do it in the isle of man now the problem with this is that videos on youtube will probably not be much help to you because the content is so specific to last year's tax rules in the uk and only in the uk that it's not going to be a great amount of content on YouTube for you. It's going to be mostly American and it's going to be outdated by the time that they've published it. So stick to the script on this one. Read the book through and through. Get your tutor to help you as much as possible. The two key things for you to learn for taxation. One, smash the question bank. Do as much of the question bank as you can. It will really teach you the ins and outs of the tax rules and how to actually apply the tax rules as well. You'll find it much easier than actually learning the content is just to do it and eventually it seems to sink in. At least that's what I found and I got quite a good score in this. The second thing to do is time management. It comes up over and over again, and there's a good reason for it. If you spend too long on any one question, you're going to be setting yourself up to fail. Make sure that you spend an equal amount of time on questions, unless you can really smash a question out quickly and you're confident that you've done that correctly. You need to be spending good amounts of time on each question, but not too much. I always recommend leave 10 minutes at the end of your certificate level exam to go back through and look at the flagged questions and re-answer them if you can or just put an answer if you didn't put an answer the first time. If you don't know, you have to put a guess down. At least do put a guess down. Uh, putting no answer will only reduce your overall score so you have to put an answer down. Do the most logical one, if not. You've really got to smash the question bank on this one. You've really got to learn the tax rules for that year and you've got to really understand how to apply them. Hey guys, I hope this helped. Principles of Tax is a fairly difficult exam and you wouldn't be wrong to think that it probably will take a fair bit of revision and understanding to actually pass this exam. And I would agree with that. It's a tough one. Lots of people do fail this exam. So take your time with this one. Really try to understand how to apply the tax rules. If you're not working at tax at work, then maybe ask one of your colleagues who does work in tax to explain some of these things to you. It might help you clear up a few things and it will be relevant, whereas some of the stuff on YouTube, for instance, will probably be less relevant to you because this is so specific to the UK tax rules for the previous year. Okay, I hope that's been helpful, guys, and I hope you stay and watch the rest of my playlist, which will be going through all 15 of the ICAW ACA exams, and we'll cover them all individually. So please stay tuned, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.